Hello and welcome to Interactive Art with P5.js, a Tuts Plus tutorial with me, Stuart Memo. In this course we'll be learning about P5, the client-side library for creating interactive graphics and artwork in the browser. We'll learn the fundamental structure of a P5 project, or sketch as they're known in P5 land. We'll learn how to draw and handle the user input. And as we go along, we'll be building up an interactive piece of art in the browser. Now p5.js is heavily inspired by the programming language Processing, which refers to itself as a flexible software sketchbook. Processing was created in 2001 with the purpose of teaching non-programmers how to code, but since then it has become the language of choice for tens of thousands of artists, designers and students to create artistic works and prototypes. p5.js, however, is different. P5 brings processing to the browser, and with that it uses JavaScript. Don't worry if you don't have much experience with JavaScript, as the code we're writing will hopefully be clear enough for you to understand what's going on. Speaking of which, when you're watching this course, you can either follow along with what I write on screen, pausing the video to write the commands as I do, or you can sit back and take in what's going on and download the code from GitHub afterwards. Okay, got the picture? Good, let's get started. 